Hey, what's happening? So, back here for splitting firewood tip number five. This one is a bit, a bit of a whopper. I'm guessing I'm going to get some comments about this because I don't really know what people do if uh, people are usually pretty particular about this one. Um, so, step number five, or tip number five, I would say, get rid of the chopping block, especially for new people. If you're new to splitting firewood, getting rid of that chopping block is going to be um, a little bit safer for you. I'll show you why. So, number one, here, this is a very large chopping block. However, it's fine for what I need. It's pretty wobbly, um, which is one reason why I also don't like chopping blocks. They tend to get wobbly. Little chips of or chunks of bark or whatever get wedged underneath there, even if you have a large one, uh, and tend to make it a little wobbly. Um, the second thing is you always have to lift it up. So, now everybody's seen this. You get the one block of wood on there, you split it, and then what do you got to do? You have to lift up these blocks of wood, put them on your chopping block, split that, you lift up this block of wood, that's not going to stay because it's not, because my chopping block isn't very great, then you split this, oh this one is a little bit too big so I'm going to split this one now too. And so I've lifted this same log up four or five times. Then I can take all this stuff over here, stack it up, call it a day. What a win. The other downside to the chopping block is the height. <clears throat> That's not going to hold up very good. Is the height that it sets the block of wood at. Okay, so when you're first starting out, the height of it is up really high. And so if you aren't very good at swinging an ax, let's say you miss and you come over here, the height of this is gonna set the, the ax right back into your shin. If this block of wood, on the other hand, were flat on the ground, if you miss, if you miss that block of wood, it's going to bury the tip of your axe into the ground. So, tip number five, get rid of the chopping block, split right on the ground. There are definitely some benefits to splitting on the ground. And there are a couple drawbacks. The biggest drawback I can think of is if there are rocks in the ground and you bury your axe and you hit a rock, it will dull your blade. You'll have to sharpen it. Aside from that, um, it's all it's all pluses. It doesn't look as aesthetically pleasing. So, if you know a group of people walk by, and you're in your lovely countryside, and they happen to notice that oh, that guy's splitting wood right on the ground instead of having this gorgeous pile of of firewood and his chopping block, then uh, what are you gonna do? Um, but aside from that, I can't think of any other pluses to having a chopping block. So if you can think of any, please let me know. Um, aside from that, uh, tip number five, ditch the chopping block.